Hello everybody, and welcome to the next part of our Sherlock Holmes The Awakened series Let's Play. I think this chapter is going to be the start of the like overarching mystery. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. I'm super excited to be here today to play some awesome games and to make new friends and to just have a great time with you guys. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, so today we're starting in the port of London. Um, I think Watson's promised us a new mystery, so it's kind of cool to see. Let's find out what's going on. I doubt we'll meet Cthulhu, but you never know. Oh, cat. You have to pet all of the cats and dogs you possibly can. We'll have to do it in our heart. It's not going to let us. There's another way in. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. <laughs> Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. So, that's right. We're inspecting the port incident with the salt. Peter, um, it was kind of all over the place and a whole bunch of evidence from last time. I think it kind of has a hand in Kimmy's disappearance. It had something to do with kind of the overarching mystery. Let's start with trying to find Kimahi, I think. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Okay. And we'll observe her, kind of like we did the florist and the bookkeeper. So, pale, chapped lips. That could be describing me. Vomit stains, morning sickness. Belly a bit distended. Well, either she had too much to eat or there's gonna be a baby. Trousers a little too tight. Okay. The barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. I hope we are confident in this because I do not want to say, hey, when's the baby due? And she's not pregnant. Chapped lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however. She has clearly yet to know of her pregnancy as she keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are now too tight for her. Okay, and then, like before, if we go to the next option, it'll give us, like, a different scenario. Um, I think we kind of have to guess which it is. Um, the barmaid is in early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however. She tries to hide her swollen belly by wearing trousers that are too tight for her. I wish that we did not have to guess whether or not we think that... She knows if she's pregnant or not. I'm going to go with unaware and hopefully we don't say anything insulting. Okay, character portrait. Barmaid. The barmaid is in early stages of pregnancy, hence the, slight, hence the slightly distended belly and hence of morning nausea. Chapped lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however. And that's what we read before. Please don't be wrong. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a simple woman, have ever known without your help? You it's better be than adopted. accusing her in a and her speaking. not. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. 
I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. Would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Not awkward. I don't think we have any evidence to provide, so I think we should leave for now, especially since I don't think we're her favorite person. We must go. Oh no, no chance of a pint then. <laughs> Ooh. Tickets to Oak Mount, Massachusetts are still available. Karen will depart next Tuesday from Pier in 2. So at least we learned about the dock explosion from her before we insulted her. We'll destroy pests of any kind and complexity. Accepted payments cash only. Help. Gervish missing for a week. Please tell if you see him. Ask Daya in Port Shantytown, Red Rag, over house entrance. So there's another missing person. Interesting. Um. Okay, so it looks like there could be something over there that we might have missed. Or maybe this is just an exit. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. I think somebody's crying. I can't tell where they are. Maybe it's her. That is a loud cry. She's a distance away. Is there a doctor? Man, he's very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. Okay. So let's help him. Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Oh, okay. There he is. I didn't see him down there. We know what to do with this now. The colorized skin, initial stages of necrosis, severe blistering. I wonder if this is from the explosion. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in the river. It's a good thing these people take something from it. The water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Okay, I didn't know if there was like a way to help this man or if we were just gonna point out the signs and then leave. What are you looking at? Do you like to watch our man suffocate himself for food? I don't. I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna go. So maybe we can find the house with the red rag over it? Is it? Would it be this one? No. Just checking. It's not you, right? Okay. Oh, he is peeing. So, this could be it. Oh! It's been decomposing for weeks. If this oh. were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. Poor puppy. Or, I think that's a puppy. Come on in. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Soon. No. Well, not yet. Um, is Dea here? I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? 
Emma, my mother, she got sick after the hot, the fire, big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a um warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. How would you describe this Solsby? He was big and strong. Um he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes. Like uh, like it was made of metal. <laughs> Do you still have the necklace that Soulsby gave to Girves? Girves left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Amma medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Um. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Oh. Maybe that's Gervais. Do you think he's okay? I hope so. Is there anything else? I should have helped Alma put out the posters. Oh, buddy. If no. she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for Gervesh and Kimahe. And what else are we looking for? So, Nepali boy's testimony, a boy of around 10 years of age resides in one of the port shanties. He looks to be from Nepal and is both exhausted and malnourished. <laughs> His mother, Daya, is at the local clinic due to her falling sick from the incident's fumes. The boy said that his brother Girvesh disappeared after Roy Soulsby, a strong man with a metallic eye, hired him. He also mentions Girvesh left a pendant, which, is, which meant more to which is meant to be his first payment on the altar. Okay. And then the sick mudlark. Examination of a mudlark reveals signs of poisoning by hazardous substances contained in the water. Better to look for the source of contamination upstream. The dead dog... <laughs> this this chapter is just sad all around. The dead dog decomposing in the water has been there for weeks and would have started the disease sooner. I wouldn't eat anything out of that river. I can definitely see how I'm sorry. I don't swear she saw ghosts in the house too. The coppers even went over there. Must be serious. New case, the haunted house. It's tickling me. Okay, so this is Pier 3. I can't remember if we need to go to Dock 2 or 3. So I imagine if this is 3, around here will be 2. So why don't we head back to uh, the beginning and we can follow that path there. Or maybe even speak to a few of the locals in the area. We can try that again. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'll be happy to help you. So listen to me. Okay, so Salisbury, Salisbury's, not Salisbury steak, Salisbury's calling card. The man usually wanders close to the dockyard. Okay. So, should we try to talk to the coffee him? won't go away. The doctor's Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. 
She knew the answer. So, I wonder if maybe he's hanging around down here somewhere. Excuse me, just one question. Uh, of course, sir. It's quite a long story, sure. People say that Mr. Soulsby may have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the third pier. Not in the mood, mate. Chew. Are you Roy Soulsby? Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Uh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Dude, that's what I'm here now, for. What makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. So, what are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. See the harbor master? You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, but I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. Now, where, where was, was I? I? Let's observe him. I'm sure this will be interesting. Five foot five. Average height. I'm shorter than that. HM Cuss. Hmm. Mint. Solid gold. Not brawny. He's of English blood, around five foot five, and has an average build. He lacks muscle tone, implies that he is hardly strong. Mr. Soulsby, Mr. Soulsby does not seem to look like Kimmy. He's abductor. That's probably a fair assumption. Um, his left palm bears several ink stamp ink stains. Some letters remain visible. H M Cuss. Apparently, Mr. Soulsby is the customs officer. He holds a brand new Waltham hillside watch in his pocket. He could never afford such a thing, so he may have stolen it. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to get this wrong again. Maybe he just takes money on the side. So let's leave for now. So let's go back to the barmaid and see if she can't give us any more information to piece together what maybe happened to Kimhei or the other missing man. I think starting with her is as good a place as any to start. And at least we've gotten it out of the way. And she already doesn't like us, so what else can we do to damage this relationship? Know anyone with a metallic eye? Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. That's kind of a look, though. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. So she just told us that. I don't think that's going to help. Maybe we can give her the character portrait of Rolly Soulsby? Doesn't look like anything to me. Maybe she'll know something about the foreign woman. Have you been drinking? Feels like it sometimes. She's not going to know anything about that, but... Have you been drinking? Okay. 
Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? Roy Soulsby? Hmm. I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. He just said no my guess is it. that he works somewhere around here. I doubt it, but we're here. Doesn't look like anything to me. How is she gonna respond to that? Never heard of it. That's you. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Are we... What can I get you? We're done. We're done here. No more questions. She's through. So maybe we should go through our evidence book really quickly before we run all over the place. So we've already got Kimihi's disappearance up. It's Roy Salisbury's testimony. The barmaid's testimony. Okay. Okay. The poly boy's testimony. Character portrait, Roy Soulsby. Dirty Summers is the abductor. Kimihi's abductor. Dirty Summers is Kimihi's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Soulsby could be Summers' accomplice. Uh oh. Is he still gonna be there? I don't think we have enough information for this, but it might be worth just looking at. I don't think so. And that's all we have so far, but I think we're making progress. So I think that we should go back to the th third port and talk to Soulsby, see if he's still there. Let's fast travel though, because I don't know if I'm gonna get there. There we go. Um, I think it's up and around. <gasps> He's still there. Get him, boys! What are you gawping at? That is in red. I have been wrong once already. I think we should trust our gut. I think we should go for it. I mean, we are Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What makes you say that? What is the crime? Who is the criminal? Okay. Kimihi's abductor. Dirty Summers is Kimihi's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Soulsby could be Summers' accomplice. I feel like that could definitely be one of them. Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. So that's one. That's one. We've got one. Soulsby, Soulsby's calling card found at the scene of Kimihi's abduction. The card has some text printed on it that reads Roy Soulsby's London. If I was going to commit a crime, I might leave my business cards at home just for the occasion. The man usually wanders close to the dockyard. People say that Soulsby may have gone to watch the ship that exploded. I think it might be this one. I mean, your name's at the scene of the crime. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You cannot be serious. I am. I think out of the ones that are left, I think that character portrait Roy Soulsby is the last option that makes the most sense. So. Fingers crossed we don't let him slip through our fingers. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's true. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. Mm -hmm. Alright, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes. I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that. On my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall. But 
I use red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. At least we I know where that is. Just for a drink. Okay, so we know where the Cursed Mermaid is, and we know a certain someone who happens to not like us, who said she doesn't know anything about this. Me think someone's not being truthful. And also, at least we can fast travel. So, we're gonna go where we can fast travel first. Here we go. Madam, you lie. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. I think you do have more to add, ma'am. Okay. Kimmy's disappearance. I don't know how much she would know about that or be involved or would have overheard. I don't think that would be- I don't think the missing po person poster for Gravesh would be it. Dirty Summers is Kimmy's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Soulsby's could be someone's accomplice. He was mentioned by Salisbury. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? So he happens to frequent your establishment. So maybe the best choice would be this. I just don't want to be wrong. I'm getting nervous. A customs officer, Ooh. Roy Soulsby, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. Uh-huh. Barmaid's testimony or her character portrait. Let's go with the character portrait. Yes. If the lives ah. missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn Ooh. child. Are you threatening me? What do you think? Or perish the thought. I am not threatening her. I am not threatening Nothing you. The sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. It's Should true. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. It would be difficult. Okay, okay. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. For what? He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. If they would just be honest. From the start, I feel like this would be so much easier. Okay. So, we've got the key. Now, we open the door. Which door Ooh, that door very dark the hairs on the back of my neck stood up I think he just doesn't like art that's fine I don't like theater <laughs> money five shillings that won't go far the same gross food. It's a problem. Invoice for sale cloth. The Parker and Williams Co. Manchester. Invoice number 012B. Date 20th of September 1882. I almost said 1982. <laughs> Sold to Oscar Summers. Cargo. High quality sales cloth. Packed in wooden crates. Quantity 50 crates. Total 50 pounds. Scratching. Fresh scratches deeply Strange carved. Symbols. I don't recognize them. Strong men needed for moving crates in warehouse area. Hiring notice. The job is to move crates in this warehouse area. Dirty Summers hires men in pub's private room. That sounds weird. Maybe we can put 
some stuff together now. Hiring notice? No, we just did that. Oh. In a warehouse holding sp Can we use whipouts? Dirty Summers has hired men for warehouse work, specifically to carry crates of cl sailcloth. The abductees could still be inside the warehouse, which should be marked with red paint. When the plot thickens. So let's go find, let's go this way, let's go find the warehouse, the Cursed Mermaid, I love that name. What are you doing? That is going to be a problem later, that is absolutely going to be an issue. Okay so yeah, we're heading the right way. I doubt it's that way. Let's go this way. Ooh, number six. Ooh! Get in the lay of the land. Okay. So, so that looks like that could be up to up three up one so maybe okay so everything needs to go up one I think let's go back Investigation scene found. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. <laughs> Ooh, super quiet. I read. Good quality, but torn in many spots. Blood? Mold. Oh. That's why you don't leave circle of lying out. You learn something new every day. Hmm. This crank saw some use. Okay, crank. Watson really is just here. So we don't feel scared and alone. Layers of rust will prevent any movement. Oh, glad we came back. Dried mud, port of London soil. Of marks on this end. Is that like a crowbar, maybe? And then the, the open window, probably? No? Okay. Scratches? The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. So someone's in here with us. some sort of pulley well oiled and well maintained see I would, I would say that that's blood and then he'd be like mold fit for a crank hmm I think I know where one of those are it's 
fine, Watson. You don't have to grab it and bring it up. I got it. I'll just do it by myself. What did I say? That's gonna drop on us. Somebody is hiding back here. Where are you? Hidden passage. Just as I expected. It jumped out at me. Where? Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing, there is some sort of ghost in a warehouse, and anything spooky, I mean, that's calling my name. So, I think that I'm gonna have to go with the ghost before we leave. At least we know our way here, and I'm not missing the chance to be on Ghost Files, so. So, I think in order to get there, we're going to have to go back through the maze of warehouse buildings in which we came. I think this was six right here. Yes, that's six. So it's gotta be, there's three. And I'm pretty sure they said it was two. That's two. Good evening, Constable. It's easier than I, I thought I heard it was some be. people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. My interest is piqued. Gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and, well, it is a bit creepy, but I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. <laughs> I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. That explosion. Good night, sir. Those wax figures can be creepy. Wrong warehouse. Nothing to see here. Wrong warehouse. That was the same door. I'm a little nervous now that we're actually in here. This a phonograph? No. Okay. An effective contraption. It still works. Okay, so maybe the ghosts aren't quite real. I'm not gonna go up that way and fall. What was that? Anything? How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. That is the first time he's offered to help. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some Oops. supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? He hasn't said anything fun or helpful yet. And I'm actually, I like both of those. Suggesting dinner and asking to help. Oh, this is going to make some noise. Yep. Maybe that's what we were trying to look at. Empty space missing crates. Several crates are missing. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So like ectoplasm? Phosphorus used recently. I did not know we were gonna go the ghost route. I was totally expecting a giant squid, but not the ghosts. Where is this going? <laughs> Just put them on your hands. Oh. My goodness. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Is someone in there? this intended to scare? It's like a haunted house. 
Somebody had fun. It's cute. Not really spooky, but cute. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. So, I don't really think it's very haunted. We might have missed this. Definitely missed that. Hmm, there's two things. Let's check over here. It looks like some bottles. It's empty. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. <laughs> they had Michaels back then. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. Mm. We're going to put a mystery together. Rectangular imprints, wooden There was splinters. a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. I have no idea how he can know that, but okay. Ghostly handprint. They opened the casket and left marks. Okay. There it is. A herbal odor with an ethylic base. Liquor? Gotta do something while you're waiting in there. Let's go over here. Doubtful. Unfortunately, that makes the most sense. I keep I'm hoping though that there's a ghost that's gonna pop out. I just want to see. What is the other one? Oh, yeah, no. I have a feeling. That would be cool, but I doubt it. Okay, over here. Hmm, we don't have the other option yet. Hold on. The door. I thought it was going to take us out, but. It did. Is there anything out here really quickly? No. Okay, let's go back in. Um, I do not... There it is. It's on the ground. No wonder I missed it. A small cart left those tracks. Not a large cart. So let's go here. So if it was small, it couldn't have been that. Yeah. Okay. And then, finally... Just let them make their money and have fun. We know what the answer is. Fine. Fine. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. Okay. Investigation scene complete. Do we talk to Watson? If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I think we're going to be out for a very long time at this rate, banana. Yep. So I think we're supposed to f follow these would be my guess. Maybe not. Okay, there's some more. Dr. Tippett's electric pectobrain. Patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. Okay. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. Maybe we can pin some evidence now? Uh, 
think anybody out here knows anything. Just help me, please. I think I can help you. Okay. Finally. Dr. Tippett's electric pecto brain. Dr. Tippett's electric pecto brain can be found in shanty towns. It's dispensed in a yard to the sick and suffering. Okay, so probably the women who keep talking about coughing. Um, are they not this way? Looks like we're gonna have to create a ghost. Yes, there they are. The coffin won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, can't I can't help this. Is this what that is? Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir. Did this guy take the medicine? <laughs> Sorry, man, I got to stand Could you head. help me? It's a shame I can't answer your question. Okay, maybe not. So it's got to be around here. There's a lot of sick the people. That's the Russian brother. Where are we? The field hospital. Okay. Hospital medicine. Hello. Let's observe him. Ooh, very young. Okay, but Sherlock can't really talk because he looks like a child. Almost doctor homemade medicine recipes. <laughs> Ectoplasm. Glowing powder phosphorus. The man appears too young to have completed medical studies and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely from the props warehouse. He's carrying a book on homemade medicine. He may have good intentions, but good intentions are a poor substitute for expertise. Or... He is carrying a book on homemade medicine. He is trying to make a quick buck by exploiting people's na nativity and despair. I think that's what it is. I think he knows what he's doing. I think Good you evening, know. sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing pecto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor. From the side, perfect. he doesn't look so Are young. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. self -educated. Helping, as in bringing to the grave. That is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop the coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Take a dirt Has nap. your beverage been tested by your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product well, you help is and they're suffering, there. all right. So dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. You're Watson, not helping you people, though. What do you make of this though. situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people. I don't know if you should be allowed to, though. So there's an update on this. A unique formula that helps with vertigo, weakness, coughing, toothache, lung, pain, and asthma. Strength and happiness for all patients for a fraction of the price of other patent medicines. Results guaranteed. It's like snake oil. Only natural ingredients. Honestly, take this setting and put it, like, in today's time, like, 
nothing's different. Dr. Tippett's electric pecto brain can be found in shanty towns. So we found that. Before we skedaddle. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's just a door. Is there anything else here? There's a person. There's another person. I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. Okay, so does that mean the medicine is working, isn't working? Cart from warehouse two. It's definitely not working. The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. How can we be sure that the man laying dead out there didn't take it? Let's go talk to... Hmm? Let's go talk to the cop. Let him know that... Hey. Um. Yeah, no, someone's... It's not a ghost. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I wish there was a ghost, but I'm not gonna lie. Constable? Ghosts aren't My that name is Dr. Watson. From a man called Thomas Tibbet has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Why can't we have a ghost? Please, we can have a squid. I knew oh, it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. You didn't know. Okay. So, that was the haunted house case. I liked it. It was fun. I'm severely disappointed there wasn't a real ghost. I might cry. But... If we get to see Cthulhu, that will make up for it, at least in part. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know what you think. So that was one of the side quests. I don't know if you want me or us to go out of our way to do all of them or just maybe come across them, maybe not seek them out. Let me know. Let me know what you thought about it. I'm curious. I always want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments, subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day. Bye.